In this video coming up, la la la. So many cars, what's going on? It's not quantity, it's quality that counts. That was a really long walk, Grandpa. My feet hurt. You've shrunk. Oh, you didn't do too badly, did you? No, I didn't. No, not at all. I don't see it at all. Oh. Well, I like that one. Mm, that's a nice one, isn't it? What did you get asked to do? <laughs> Something very vague. Okay. <laughs> um, I have to take pictures of landscapes in things that aren't landscapes. Okay. So objects, buildings, cracked paintwork anything that looks like it could be a landscape so it's actually um aspects isn't it very yeah. close up macro aspect photography and who would you draw as an influence for this no idea i don't, I don't, I don't know anyone who's done this before yeah i don't either it was it was quite random my teacher just pointed at a picture of a metal pipe on the wall and was like look can you see this mountainscape i want you to try that so, so actually inside the what was it a pipe yeah it was like rust on a pipe and and you could paint. see in the rust you could see a pattern of what could potentially be a landscape yeah okay so that's the task landscapes in things that are not landscapes so it is landscape photography <laughs> no it's, it's not it's oh yeah abstract. it's more yeah. abstract with um macro because we've got to get close up if we want mm -hmm. to see a pattern in this staircase okay look at this this down pipe Stand out of the sun so that we've got the reflection, that's it. You can see the kind of the paintwork's all rippled. Mm -hmm. If we can get close enough to that, I think you might be able to get a you can landscape. Try. Be careful because the grass around here is really long. Okay. Can you get level with it so that it does look like, or even use your live view to do. Bearing in mind that you might want to crop that. Oh yeah, that's yeah. good. Let's show it on the screen now. You know, just take a moment to take a look at the peeling plaster. You might see a mountain range or... You know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of um, like when you look up in the clouds, you know, like cloud watching or something. You'd be like, that looks like a horse. <laughs> We're basically just playing a giant game of that today. What can you see? There's three three fingers over there. They look <laughs> like dancing paw. ladies. Dancing ladies? Yeah. Oh my god. This is like psychoanalysis, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh see in this picture. my head is full of psychoanalysis because I've got my crim exam tomorrow. Okay. It's my criminology exam. I spent all day studying for it. So my head is full of stuff like psychoanalysis and personality theories. <laughs> personality theories. Yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? When yeah. you see different shapes in things. Mm -hmm. I think it's personality theory. It tells you if you're a psychopath or not. I've taken it. <laughs> and are you? No, but apparently I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> okay. According to the test, I'm extremely neurotic as well. <laughs> neurotic. Yeah. What does that mean, neurotic? Um, well, this is a test of my memory, isn't it? Um, basically, that I'm just a very cautious being. Is that what neurotic means? Well, it did, apparently, according to Eisner. Drop a comment, what neurotic means. In 1982. I always thought it was like you were pensive and yeah. nervous and yeah. um, everything it. and everyone is out to get you, but that's more... Um, what's that old thing about? Just because you think everyone's out to get you doesn't mean they're not. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that thing I was telling you about um, imaginary audience. Remember I was telling you about that? Okay. Did you like, find it? Are you looking at it? I'm looking for it in my many, many... What's it? Many Neuros neurosy? Neuroticism? Neuroticism, is, Neuroticism is determined by the level of stability, i.e. amount of reactivity, in the sympathetic nervous system. How much a person responds in situations of threat, fight or flight. A neurotic person is someone who is e slightly unstable and reacts, gets upset very easily. <laughs> At the opposite end of this dimension, the stable personality has a more unreactive nervous system. They are calm under pressure. Oh yeah. But I am really neurotic apparently, so I don't, I don't do well under pressure. And I'm the, I'm the opposite. I'm very calm. You should see my driving videos. <laughs> hey, look! I just saw this in the wood. So there's a wooden um, post here to stop people getting to the other side, which you can because. 
says it's broken. It's broken. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> but I saw this, and I can see a pattern. We've got um, potentially a foreground, maybe a white cliff face, and there's some trees just beyond the foreground. And then I've got this, it looks like it could be a, a cliff face again, another cliff. So a cliff separated by a cliff with trees in the middle and maybe a forest in the background. That's abstract, isn't it? Can you see that? Yeah. So foreground, trees in the middle, mm -hmm. another mount, uh, cliff face behind it. I can certainly see. Oh, raised to what, are you in manual priority? Yes. On purpose? Yes. Okay. I prefer manual priority. I find it easier to just completely adjust everything. Yeah, yeah. You can control it. Yeah. I'm eager to get the shot in, but she's, it's her okay. assignment, so... Hang on. That's all right, you take time. Don't be neurotic. <laughs> Word of the day. Neurotic, there you go. In case anyone else is taking criminal jail out right there, you're welcome. <laughs> well, anyone who takes criminal, would you be watching this? <laughs> oh, I can't see it now. Oh, yes. Like, yeah. I was like that at first. I couldn't spot it. And I was like, oh, wait, there it is. Right around here, we've noticed all of these lines in the and cracks in the stone. And it kind of almost looks like some sort of map. Like you can imagine these roads being labelled and there being little like landmarks yeah. everywhere. And also it carries on around here as well. From so. town to town and village yeah. to village. Look, there's the there's M25 going around London. There you go. <laughs> there's the M20 going down to Kent. There's yeah. the M23 going down to Brighton. So I feel like that'd be quite a good abstract sense, especially in like post-production you can kind of draw over it if you wanted to and yeah go for it well, I can't draw over it right now but I will take the shot any shots that I don't take I'll be displaying George's shots did you get it I did get that one but I kind of want to get some of this one over here as well which I've now lost I what I point out here wasn't it this yeah, bit and exactly. then it was coming across here yep because then that I think that does that join up there's always a way yeah, it does. You have to take the long way home. Yeah. I think it'd be quite interesting to compare this to a map or something. Yeah. In my work. It's not so much landscapes and things that are not landscapes, but we're seeing patterns. It is, ab it is abstract. I can just class this all underneath abstract. Yeah. Because ultimately, I think that's what the assignment is. But again, my teacher was not that clear. I think what it's doing, though, is pushing you to see yeah. beyond the obvious and using your creative eye to see something even before you take the photograph. Wait, that looks like seahorses. What? <laughs> Up there, it looks like this is all like seahorses, sea creatures around a little meeting table or something. Well, that one can almost look like a chicken. That one on the right. That is, yeah, right. I'm going to drive. I should know my left from my right. <laughs> It's going back to your cloud thing. It's, yeah, it's really abstract. I don't know, we've got a lot of options. Down that way? Yeah, we could go down that way. The harbour arm. Well, I feel like with this sort of thing, we could be looking at anything and find some sort of image. So, we could go anywhere. Let's head down there then, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Down this long hill. Oh, I like that one. Mm, that's a nice one, isn't it? Go forward. Yeah. Oh, you didn't do too badly, did you? No, I didn't. No, not at all. Right, come on. Take that okay. La la la. It's a lovely sunny day. I just hit myself in the face. No. <laughs> my camera strap just hit me in the face. <laughs> oh, your camera just hit my camera. <laughs> that was a really long walk, Grandpa. My feet hurt. <laughs> Yeah. But look what we've got. We've got the harbour arm and we can take some images and I'm sure we can find some rusty elements, right? Yeah. Takeaways here. So let's have a walk down across the, the old railway bridge and go down into the harbour arm. You know, we've taken shots at the station before, but there's lots of old iron 
um, girders and things like that. And that we'll probably see some rusty things up. Yeah, I don't think we've ever paid that close attention to that area. We've kind of done more general around here. We should probably watch out for that car. In this video, coming up. <laughs> a car. Oh, that, look at that window. Sorry? That window over there. The cracks in it look like a landscape. Ah, yes, well spotted. Let's have a look. Thank you. Okay, what can you see? Um, it almost kind of looks like a mountain range in the background with that white and the cracks in front could be, they could be anything, they could be streams, trees, rocks. That is, it's lovely. Here's your foreground element, there's yeah. the background and there's your sky. Yeah. That's a landscape in something that's not a landscape. We did it! You've got a landscape on. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> uh, let me take that off, okay. All right. So if I just try and position my camera so that that is literally the center of it and you can't see that it's a window frame, I might have to switch it to manual focus. I think I'm going to have to take a shot of this as well. Yeah. It's a great example of a landscape, not a landscape. Let me take a shot while you're sorting out them. He's going to try and come up from the bottom. I've finished sorted out now. <laughs> it does look great. There are all these little details and... Mountain range, I love it. And the way I've positioned the image is that it literally looks like... Oh, dear. If I can grab it again. Yeah, it's not opening. There we go. So you can see that that... Oh, oh, for goodness sake. Never mind, we'll show it on the... It's there! <laughs> There's the image. I wonder if you could see anything from the ceiling. It's not really a ceiling, is it? Is it a ceiling? No, it's just the, it's just the top. Yeah. Bridge, I think anything upwards is a ceiling. Your hat is a ceiling for your head. I think I did see something, but it's going to be a case of trying to relocate it. That's, that's going to be the main thing here. Where is it then? Um. All right, give me a minute. I saw something that looked almost like some waves. Up there, directly above there. Oh, yeah. That, that could look like some waves. That is a seascape, isn't it? So many cars, what's going on? Right, there's some. It's almost like people are allowed to drive this way, aren't they? I saw a curly wave. I can see yours. I'm is trying that to find there? it again. Yes. I want to see if I can quickly grab and a shot. That on there looks like it could be clouds with the moon behind it. Can you Where are we looking? This one here, directly up. Can you see it? That um, could be the sea with the moon behind it. We're both going to present an image. That one looks like a dolphin. An image. Where are you seeing it? There. This one here? Yeah, it looks like a dolphin. Are you looking at the white dolphin or the br red brick? White, white dolphin. It's a white dolphin. Okay. I don't see it at all. Oh. I'll have to see if I can try and capture the image. There's one beneath that looks like a shark. Okay, sharks, <laughs> dolphins, <laughs> moonscapes. Did you manage to get it? Did you? Yeah. So there's waves and waves are along there and there's the background of the sky. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> we have succeeded. It almost begs the question, do we need to find any more? But I think we can, um, we can... See how many images oh, I have. The sun. That oh, was cold under that bridge. It was quite nice though. The wind blowing. I already have 79 images. Um, uh, I cleared my SD card before we came out. So every time you see me today, that all of that is on here. 79 images. I cleared my SD card. Do you know how many I've got? Oh, what, 12? Five. <laughs> Because it's not it's not quantity, it's quality that counts, you see. I only need five and you need no I'm keep kidding. It might be that you're seeing much more than I am. And I'm concentrating also, on I tend to like snap, snap, snap and then afterwards I go through them and I do delete quite a lot. But you snap, snap, snap because the potential to have captured a really good image yeah. is not limited to five yeah. images, right? You've got so many to work with. Yeah, I'd rather take as many as possible and then limit it down than find myself limited in the first place. Yeah, good plan. Okay, I think the sun's on the camera, so we'll just we'll just walk down here 
and see what we can find. What are you seeing? Is that, um, is that a landscape? There's a little bit of rust here. I think that could look like something. Ah. And there's an ant on it. <laughs> and if you get close enough, it could look like Jurassic World. Yeah. Amazing that we're all down here looking at all of these things and then you spy something really tiny and close up there. <laughs> it's because I was looking out for something like that. Oh, so then like if I zoom in, you yeah, you can kind of see maybe like a, almost like a tsunami type wave. Yeah. I'm wondering if we'll find anything down here. Taking a picture of the palm tree. I yeah, I need to quickly grab it again. It was a bit too bright. Nice. I was just looking at this. Look at the rocks. And in fact the rocks over here. I don't know if maybe we get a pattern that makes it look like a, a landscape. Oh I see a desert landscape here. A little bit of the foreground if we get if we don't have our shadows and you've got a mountain range in the background oh yeah it's all about very creative photography going on here you're not enamored by it are you no no, no i was just distracted i like the idea it's just trying to get um an angle where your shadow isn't in the way my shadow no our shadows in general like the shadow Collectively. This is where you have to get in your tummy. So I can see. Oh yeah. Oh, I've got my heart in the way. <laughs> uh oh. Come back a little bit. I'm looking at it through live view. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to have to bracket it. Yeah? Like somewhere in America in the um, vast desert. Oh, that That's why I didn't lay down. Oh, this looks quite cool actually. If I just zoom in. <gasps> yeah, look at that. If I zoom in, oh, it's got yeah. the. You could be in Cornwall. In mountain range. Yeah, with the, with the blue sky. Yeah. Nice shot. I'm keen to try the um, iron because I think you'll get some good landscapes yeah. out of that. Let's go then. Oh look, it's the seagull. Do you remember in our other oh, video? Oh, I remember the seagull. We took a picture. Oh look, one of these, um, what are they called? What are these called? I don't know, they're very Victorian. Yeah. Should we get our thumbnail? Yeah, let's get our thumbnail. Let me set this up. Then. I want to be in the raincoat. In the what? Raincoat. Oh, you want me to be the me the mermaid? Yeah. Or is it a merman? I think it's a merman. We'll go with merman. Take the glasses off. That's why it's do, yeah. Oh, look to the right. Look to the left. I looked the wrong way. <laughs> Did you not know you left and right? I should do, shouldn't I? Look up. Look. Look right. Look right. Look left. I did. Are you looking left now? Yeah. I'm looking right. I'm looking right. Smile. You've shrunk. <laughs> what? Look at oh, this. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I shrunk. Can you sit in it? Uh, I can try, but I don't know how well it's going to work. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a tiny person in a big deck Do chair. <laughs> you look like my tiny granddaughter. Oh, hang on, you are. <laughs> okay, guess what? The GoPro has frozen up. Annoyingly. Yeah, just when we were doing the mermaid thing, weren't we? Yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't release it. So I'm not going to walk around holding my iPhone like this. <laughs> so we're going to continue walking down there, the yeah, harbour arm. That's a strange image. Sorry, people get camera like. Oh, let's do it this, this way. This should be more professional. So we're going to continue walking down there. Down that way. <laughs> and 
any other images that we capture, we will just display as a gallery now. Yeah. So um, the exercise was find landscapes the in things that aren't landscapes, and I think we've achieved, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, it was it a bit easier than I thought it'd be. So um, yeah. onwards and upwards. So one of the favourite things we like to do after we've done our photo shoot is run a slideshow on the laptop because obviously I have to get her images off her SD card so that I can do them for the video. Oh, what's happened there? The filter changed. Did you do a portrait? I did a custom portrait. Oh yeah. Oh look, I can see the foreground with the forest. And yeah. But we also like to tap into a bit because we ate it, didn't we? Yeah. 